The fourth exercise I have for you in getting a nice stable neck position during your row is the Romanian deadlift. So up until now, we've kind of taken it easy. We like, we've done a rock back. We've done some rocking exercises where my knees or my thighs are pushing up into my belly and it's forcing the rest of my body to turn my abs on. It's just teaching you how to get those abs there to secure you so that your head doesn't have to fall down so that your spine doesn't have this swooping curve in it or this super straight curve in it. Um, after that, we talked about the Turkish getup, and now we've got this kind of asymmetrical movement where I'm trying not to shrug on one side, I'm trying not to shrug on the other side, but I have to do them a little bit differently. Um, and once I've mastered some of those steps at least, it's good to start getting into the neck positions that you'll experience during your row. Namely, I think the easiest thing that fits into everybody else's training is the Romanian deadlift or like a stiff legged deadlift. So as I bend over in a Romanian deadlift, my head has to oppose the gravity or else it's trying to fall down forward. If I feel it falling down forward, I'm probably kicking on my back. I'm excessively curving my spine and those back muscles, those spine muscles, they get more leverage and they get better at turning on. So then it becomes all that I can feel. Even if I can, you know, drive the motion with the correct muscles, I'm probably not going to feel them very well because everything else just has so much leverage. So what we want to do is we want to do that nice long neck position and hang on to it while you bend over. And it's actually a really nice cue if you struggle with the Romanian deadlift. I actually used it today. You want to be as long from like head to heel as you're standing or head to tailbone as you're bending over. That just, you know, puts people in their, their longest spine, the most neutral position that we have. Um, after you start doing that, I've made a ton of videos on the Romanian deadlift. You probably need to watch some of those if you want to get into the nitty gritty details of this. But after you've tried the nice long spine thing, you have to figure out how to get your abs to turn on, to secure you. Because if I'm bending over and I'm just arching my back when I bend over, then my, uh, my ribs start to come up and my abs lose leverage and they can't keep this midsection canister for me. And I, I just lose my ability to decompress my spine. And when I have this nice pressure on the inside of my body, because I have nice ab tension securing me, then I don't feel my back so much and it's easier to be taller. It just feels right. Um, and if I have that, then I'm training a nice, relaxed neck position. Okay, now as I'm working through the RDL, I'm probably going to start adding some weight in and, you know, it's not really going to look that relaxed. But a good test for you to see if um, you still have that or if you're getting that right position during the Romanian deadlift is to, you know, just stand up when you're done and try that little turn thing. See if I still have neck mobility after I do it. And if I feel like I'm really stiff or if I feel like my shoulders are just driving up, then I should go back to that RDL and I should try to find a way to drive it with my hips because that's what I need to secure me rather than tightening my back up. So there's a lot for you to think about. If you need more, I got plenty of videos about the deadlift and the RDL. Um, master that next, and then we'll talk about another one.